it's time to take you behind the scenes of my most recent adventure. So in this video, I want to talk about my latest adventure being the Great Wall of China. Whilst there's many people who sort of know where I was, what I was doing, I think it's still massively misunderstood and I know why. It's because I wasn't able to talk much about this journey at all. So my latest adventure, which I returned home from about seven months ago now, was following the entire course of the Great Wall of China. Now this was filmed for TV and it's TV that holds all the exclusivity, the rights to the show. Meaning I have to be careful what I say, how I talk about it and what I share. And so whilst I was out there this time around, unlike Mongolia, Madagascar and my Yangtze journey where it was fully interactive and I could, you know, I could share, I could shout, I could post photos and, and videos and blogs on my website. With this, there was none of that really. There was some behind the scenes, but again, I had to be super careful with what I gave away strictly because it's filmed for an international TV show, which is amazing. And that means it's the biggest step to my adventure and career so far. This was very hard to get, but I couldn't share it like I did the others. So there's a lot of confusion about what I was, what I was doing, was it an adventure, why I couldn't talk about it. So I kind of want to break down here because the Great War I was planning for over a year. I decided that I didn't want this to be a walk, a hike, whereby, you know, there's, there's, there's survival and there's certain goals and, and um, there's a start, there's a finish and, you know, and it wouldn't be strictly walking, surviving my way across the Great Wall of China like it was the Yangtze, Mongolia, Madagascar. With this one, I wanted to go back to my roots, go back to how it all started before the, the hiking and, and the, the sort of survival became a thing. And that was the fact that I was cycling across countries. I was a scuba diver. I was a martial artist. I was doing lots of different forms of adventures whether it be road tripping, hitchhiking, cycling as I mentioned, um, summits and mountains and so I wanted to come back to that and with this journey I wanted to integrate as much as I possibly could. In a, in a way I wanted it to be following the Great Wall via land, air and sea. Um, I've got qualifications underwater, I've got qualifications crossing land and I've got qualifications whereby it's paragliding, paramotoring and skydiving where it's air-based activities. So with my sea-based activities, land-based activities and air-based activities, I wanted to integrate these and have a wild adventure following the Great War. And this adventure, whilst wasn't walking, it was over 21,000 kilometers traveling. That's over four times um, the distance of the Yangtze River which was over six and a half thousand kilometers. And we started from the source in the Bohai Sea, where the Great War meets the sea. And the Great War then travels thousands and thousands of miles, splits off in all different directions. But effectively, my ending point was Jiayu Guan in the desert in Gansu province. And so we were filming a show whereby we would be traveling the Great War, doing all of these variable different um, activities, but we would also be talking about the history of the wall, the very first wall ever built and going there. We would be talking about the people along the wall and what the wall means to them. We'd be meeting up with different uh, historians, different wildlife protectors, uh, wall protectors, and getting their take, their story, and pretty much sharing everything the Great Wall has to offer from its history, to its geography, to its people, and I believe, or not me, but my team believe that this is potentially the best documentary ever filmed on the Great Wall of China. And I think you guys are gonna be pretty shocked to realize what we were actually doing in China. And it's been so frustrating not being able to shout about it and talk about it, but, but soon I will be able to. But I wanted to sit down and, and talk you through a little bit more about what that journey was about. There was a lot of sensitivities to that journey as well, of course, because it was during COVID times. And that was also one of the big reasons why I couldn't share and talk about it because there was a lot of shit going down whereby I was held in isolation for 17 days, where we would have to avoid lockdown, where we would have to evacuate cities. 
um, and there were a lot of different activities done from where we were mountain biking the Great Wall, where I was scuba diving the Great Wall of China. Never knew that was a thing until a few months before. But it's a town that has been submerged fully. It's been dammed and now the Great Wall for the hundreds of years has been going through that town but is now fully submerged underwater about 60 meters deep. So we scuba dived the Great Wall. We got a helicopter to start off to kickstart the show. You know, this was a very high, big budget adventure TV show that was painful for me not to be able to share, but I'm very excited that you will see a fucking amazing show. One that I wasn't um, fortunate enough to be able to capture of the Yangtze of Mongolia or of Madagascar, because a lot of it was self-filmed with the occasional National Geographic crew dro dropping in every now and then for the Yangtze, but the Yangtze journey was pretty much 70% filmed and that's why it's been pretty difficult to get that Yangtze journey into the West. But again, my team is still working on that and I'm fairly comfortable and confident with the fact that this Great Wall show will make it easier to bring the Yangtze show to the West. And so, it was a wild journey. I wasn't able to share much, but this month we are doing voiceovers. We're still working on the show. Um, it's been many months in the making because we captured over 600 hours of footage. It was literally filming every single day, sunrise till sunset. It was one of the hardest things I'd done. Expeditions aside, in terms of survival, this was semi-scripted. This was, you've got to be aware with who you're meeting next. You've got to have all the questions out. You've got to be ready to take on that activity whether it's interviewing and getting involved with the monks at the Shaolin Temple and interviewing the abbot himself, which is the Grand Master um, monk, to scuba diving, to wrestling the Mongolian uh, wrestlers, to trekking camelback through the desert and coming across oases. This journey has a little bit of absolutely everything and we're working to cut those 600 hours down into six one-hour episodes that I can then talk more about but again I'm gonna wrap it up now but I just wanted to touch base on that because it's so frustrating to understand people's confusion around it because this was a big time expedition big time adventure and I wasn't able to share so I think a lot of people see it as Ash has done three big adventures being Mongolia Madagascar and the Yangtze but once you see the TV show on the Great War you'll realize that that was the fourth done in 2022 on my latest I cannot wait to share with you. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe for more to come.